Hey guys, welcome back to Big O's channel. When I give tips on life, business, and relationships, and sometimes I give a funny story from a dating experience. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have too many of those. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, I should watch the whole thing. You know, hope it makes some sense to you. If you're returning to the channel, respect the love. Oh my gosh, this video is coming out kind of dark, but it's all good. Whatever. <laughs> so. It was on my heart to share this with you. Move in silence. What I mean by moving in silence, when it comes to your dreams, your goals, don't tell everybody the things you're looking to accomplish. Don't tell everybody what your dreams are. You know, don't post everything on Facebook or social media when you're moving in that direction. And as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me too, because I've been guilty of this. Like when I started a new job, when I got into a new relationship, when I bought a, well, I never posted when I bought a new car, but I have posted my car on social media before. But whatever your goals and dreams are, don't tell everything to everybody. There's two reasons that I need to get into why you gotta keep some of your dreams and goals to yourself. The first one, people don't always wanna see you win facts friends or family don't always want to see you win here's the thing when you're winning when you're doing your thing you know what that says that gives them uh, a feeling of why aren't I winning you know you take away their excuses period so when you're doing your thing when you're winning, when you're out there grinding, hustling, and you start seeing success, that takes away their success. That takes away, no, not their success, that takes away their excuses. So that's why you gotta be careful with telling people what your goals, dreams, and aspirations are, you know? Unless it's like a mentor, somebody you truly believe in, have faith in, and they always speak in positivity to your life, Unless it's that person, don't say everything to everybody. You know, I found it funny and amazing when people post, I'm going for a job interview. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Have I done that? Yes, I have. I'm not gonna front. But as I've gotten older, I realized I can't tell everything to everybody. Cause not everybody wanna see you win. You know, it's sad, but it's the truth. Some people take pleasure in seeing you fail. And the sad thing is they don't even know why. You know why? Because they're a failure. You, you know? Sad but true. Not everybody wanna see you win. And the second reason why you gotta move in silence. Not tell everybody what your goals, your dreams, and aspirations are. The second and pretty much the most important reason they're not gonna understand it. It's your dreams, it's your goals, it's your aspirations aspiration excuse me so you're not gonna understand it you're not supposed to understand it it's for you it's for you only so that's why you can't tell everybody your, your dreams your goals and your aspirations keep things to yourself sometimes don't say everything to everybody like there's a young lady right now I know on social media right or Facebook she posts everything on her Facebook page everything she posts, I'm up, had breakfast, I'm up, I'm having lunch, I'm having dinner, I went on her Facebook page out of curiosity, I kid you not. She has 200 pictures that I swear all look the same. All for attention, all for attention. You know, I find that very funny. So, move in silence, whatever your dreams, whatever your goals, Whatever things you're looking to accomplish, it could be a job, it could be a car, it could be a business. Don't tell everything to everybody. You know? I'm gonna give you another example. My aunt, she had a job and she was uh, she had a job interview. Her girlfriend worked for her at this job and her, she told her girlfriend, listen, I got another job interview for a higher paying job can you not tell our boss that I left the hour early? 
The woman said, yeah, sure, no problem. I got you, sis. My aunt went for the job, didn't get it, right? Her same friend, friend, right? Her same friend told the boss that she went for a job interview and my aunt got fired. Messed up, right? That's how people are. That's how it is. And I remember when I got into a relationship with somebody, I made the mistake of posting it on Facebook, you know? And I don't regret it. This is a couple of years ago. Somebody who I used to talk to saw, don't you know? True story. You know how Facebook, you could kind of DM somebody if you, if you click on their picture. She clicked on her picture and she gonna tell us, my girlfriend at the time, oh, that man tried to talk to me and he this, he that. I said to my girlfriend at the time, yo, I haven't talked to this girl in almost four or five months. But you see how tacky people could be? Went on my girlfriend's um, DM, you're gonna tell her I tried to talk to her. I was like, wow, people don't always wanna see you win. Is it? So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, whatever your goals, whatever your, whatever your dreams are, whatever you're looking to accomplish for yourself, ooh, like, like a ninja. Like a ninja. They, don't, they can't see you coming. Let's move. They can't see you coming. And then, boom, you got that house. You got that car. You got that promotion. You got, you got that new house. Um, you got that, whatever it is. Whatever it is, you, you, have a, you have a healthy baby. Whatever it is. I know somebody, personally, who posted they're pregnant. And it's, this is kind of sad. They, they posted on Facebook, they, got, they, they were having a baby. And unfortunately, they lost the baby. Now, it's sad that happened. What's even sadder, this couple is constantly getting phone calls and text messages and emails. I'm so sorry you lost your baby. I'm so sorry. Is there anything I could do? Yes, it's sad, but tack on it. Don't you think they're going through enough? You know, you don't have to keep bothering them. They, they're already sad. They're already going through it. They don't want to be constantly reminded they lost their unborn child. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Something like that. So, with 2021, ladies and gentlemen, it was on my heart to share this with you. Please, try to move in secret and in silence. Don't tell everybody the things you're looking to accomplish. It's not for everybody to know. In addition, not everybody is gonna understand your vision. So, with that being said, where am I going? I'm walking the wrong way. I'm over here talking, not paying attention. <laughs> Uh, that being said, to the next video, I hope it made some sense. About to go upstairs and get something to eat. I'm always eating, I'm starving. Alright? Peace and love.